everybody gather in the living room. This competition will be played one at a time. So get yourselves into separate rooms and wait for Big Brother to call you out into the backyard. Caleb, Victoria, you may leave Eden, but only for the duration of the competition. Immediately following, you must resume your Adam and Eve punishment. Good luck, and may the best house guest win! is about to release 16 new superheroes, but the world can't wait, so it's your job to get the scoop on who they are. Here's how the game works. Hit the button to start your clock, then fly down the zip line to peek inside the BB Comics studio. Grab the matching comic books from your bin and place them on your computer so it exactly matches the BB Comics studio wall. When you think you have all 16 correct, hit your button. If incorrect, a buzzer will sound, your clock will keep running, and you must figure out what is wrong. The player who matches the BB Comics studio wall in the shortest amount of time will win the power of veto. Beware, if you fail to match the comic book collection perfectly within 35 minutes, your turn will be over. Are you ready to play BB Comics? The object of this game is to arrange your comic book covers in the exact way that you see them as you zip line by the window. But it's definitely easier said than done. There's a lot of detail you need to pay attention to on those comic book covers. I see the decaffeinator, which is Christine and Hayden's. He's the crustacean. I knew the effinator was Cody because he has a huge crush on Zac Efron, way bigger than any girl that he has a crush on in the house. Fear the beard, Donnie had some abs, looking good, Donnie. So I start to lay out my artwork and I notice there are a lot of duplicates of the covers. And these covers are practically identical to each other. They only have slight differences. Am I on a wiener or not? Yes, wiener. So it goes Christine, no cup. Gosh dang it. Something's wrong. This is my worst nightmare. I'm freaking out. I'm just looking for anything that catches my eye. Oh my gosh, my soul! It's the wiener. I needed the picture with the big wiener. I picked the picture with the small wiener. Ah! That wiener mistake burned some valuable time. I'm so mad. Nicole, yourself. Even though I'm safe this week, my boy Zach is still on the block. Jacosta cannot win this POV. If she does, she's gonna pull herself off and then someone else is gonna go up next to my boy Zach. That is one handsome cowboy is all I gotta say about that. This is a comic book that I would buy and I think a lot of the women would buy too. My girl Amber wearing a superhero costume. Smoking. I would definitely buy millions of prescriptions to that comic book. I might just have to sneak that thing in my room later. I am not the brightest crayon in the box. Crustacean, mind boggled me the most. You got Hayden making this really funny face. I cannot figure out what is missing. Well, then all of a sudden, it was the palm trees. I don't know if this is right or not, but dude, I'm gonna go hit the buzzer anyway. Comic books are actually hilarious. I mean, I do have a cute one. My daily life consists of high heels, shopping, and just hanging around with the girls. <laughs> now I have to freaking memorize comic books, jump up on rooftops, and go zip lining. This is so out of my element. My arms feel like they're gonna tear off of my body. I'm afraid of heights. I'm scared I'm gonna hurt my knee. Oh, this is a disaster. I'm just 
trying to switch anything. I feel like this competition is taking forever. I'm over it. I'm over these comic books. Isn't this 35 minutes over yet? This competition is never gonna end. Crap. I'm thankful that time ran out. Good thing I'm safe this week because this competition was the worst. I am on the block and I want to win the power of veto. But most of all, I want to show my family that I am a hero. I see Jocasta, so gotta get her. I looked hot. Go Jocasta, superhero. <laughs> Keep looking at my board. I cannot figure out what is wrong. What am I not doing right? I forgot the purse. Oh, get the purse already, girl. Get the purse. America, Jocasta, she can save your city or save your soul. Hallelujah. You better get it. The stakes are super high for this veto. I want to ensure that Zach goes home and that no one else will take him off the block. I don't like him as a person, really, and I think he's trouble for the detonators. I start trying to make as many zip line trips as fast as possible. I see Derek as dad bot. I see Brittany as super soccer mom. And I'm seeing Zach attack. Oh, what a sweet guy. He's protecting his little broskies. That one was not very realistic. I get all these comic books up. I got this game beat. I fly by the wall and I realize maroon, not blue. Finally, I got you, Donnie. Oh. If I lose, I'm sitting on the block, possibly going home on Thursday. Time to put on the cave and save the day for Team Zack Attack. I'm very, uh, versatile. I'm on fire. I'm feeling like if Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man all had a kid somehow, that was me. I got all my comic books on the laptop. I'm rolling. I got it wrong the first time. Let me just give it another go. I'll figure it out the second time. This has got to be it. I'm looking at the comic books, and I can't see the freaking difference. I swear I have all of the right comic books up there. I was livid. At this point, Zack Attack turns from good to evil, about to be on the dark side. This one, she's holding a purse. This one, he's wearing pink pants. This one, there's a sausage at the bottom. This one says Zack in the background. This one, the missiles are red and white. This one is not it. I'm sorry. This one, he's wearing pink pants. And in this one, the is yellow. So unless I'm missing peace, I finished it. My mind is all jibble jabble, joggled, jigga craggled. My game is just falling into shambles. I've never been so frustrated in my life. Are they not in the right order? Damn it! Ah! Damn it! I had Victoria and Donnie's comic book covers switched around. Leave it up to Victoria to mess up my game, you freaking dingus. Oh my god. First I tell Nicole to put me up on the block, idiot. Then I choke in the B.O.B. Now I just ruined my chances of winning the power of veto. Oh my god. Oh, you idiot. I blew it.
That is so sick. That is so sick. We walk out in the backyard, and the scenery is like straight out of Batman. The artwork on these comic book covers is sick. I don't know if anybody knows this. Zac Efron's my man. Being Zach's bodyguard would be a dream job for me, so I take a bullet for you any day, buddy. Love you, man. All right, let's see how everybody did. Nicole, you finished in 12 minutes and 20 seconds, and you are in the lead. Caleb, 15 minutes and 48 seconds. Phew, I beat Beast Mode Cowboy. I'm feeling pretty good right now. And I think I have a pretty good shot at winning this thing. Victoria, a max out time of 35 minutes. Victoria's time of 35 minutes does not surprise me. That doesn't deserve any claps, guys. Victoria takes 35 minutes to do her lipstick. She takes 35 minutes to straighten her hair. Makeup's probably an hour and 35 minutes. Good job, Victoria. You maxed the time out. Jocasta, you finished in 14 minutes and 39 seconds. Great job, but not enough to beat Nicole, who is still in the lead. I felt good because I did a great job. I was just like, girl, just be with the Lord right now and just receive him. Christine, 11 minutes and 50 seconds. Good job, good job. Wow. 1150, yes, that's awesome. I beat Nicole by 30 seconds. All I'm thinking now is please don't let Zach win. Who volunteers to kick me in the after this one pops up? Zach, you have to beat Christine's time of 11 minutes and 50 seconds to win the power of veto. You finished in 26 minutes and 17 seconds, which means Christine, you have won the golden power of veto. Well done, super fan. Yeah. I'm super fan. That was so fun! Woo I won the veto! I am so happy I finally won a competition. I don't know if I'm going to use the veto or not, but whatever decision will send Zach home is the right decision. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, Zach, give me a big hug. Give me a big hug. Don't worry, you're going home. Losing this veto could possibly be the worst thing that happened to me in this game. However, I may have called Christine a floater, but she's the only person that can save Zack Attack's game from devastation. Girl, you didn't win. Christine wins the veto. I have no idea where her and I stand with each other. I haven't really been trusting her lately, and I'm hoping that she will use it, and that way I can backdoor a big target this week.